Everybody, I am so excited. I got a new Instant Pot. This is the Instant Pot 9-in-1 multi-use programmable pressure cooker. And this is the Duo Plus 60. So this is a 6 quad, but it's the 9-in-1. And I'm going to show you just what it looks like. So here's the box. And let's start over here. I'm going to make sure we can read this. So these are all the things that are included with this Instant Pot. So let me take everything out and then I want to show you what it looks like as well as a side-by-side -side comparison with my old Instant Pot. Here it is. So this is the new 9-in-1 Instant Pot. Comes packed in very well. You could just lift it out. So very well packaged and no damage or anything like that. These are the reading materials <laughs> that come with it. So there is a manual, um, user manual, uh, as well as a quick reference guide. The wire uh, electric plug is in here. So you just need to plug this in. And then this is the pot itself. So let's open it up. As you can see, this one, and I have it actually side by side with my old one. So you can really see the difference. At first glance, this one is much smaller than my old IP. My old IP is the Instant Pot Lux 60. Uh, so it is a older version. I think it was a V2 or something. So you open it, standard lid. There's a measuring cup in here as well as two uh, spoons. One is a curved one to take out gravy and lentils. Second one is a rice spatula. Okay, and you can see lots of cardboard in here, so no worry about like scratching and everything. Here is the insert stand that comes with it. I know this, this is kind of, um, I haven't used this type of a stand, so we'll see how that works for me. Uh, because my old IP actually had this one and I know this one is really nice it's the perfect height to do multi cooking etc. so there is the pot it's in a plastic as well and so you know, when you use this one you're either supposed to the idea is that you can put stuff in here and then lift it up uh, from the sides so it's not really supposed to be necessarily always work as a stand and the stand itself really works um, it doesn't stand up anyways so let me take this out so here's what the um, what the insert looks like and I wanted to actually put it in the other one and see and it does fit my older IP as well so that's a great thing because then I can use both of the in, in, insert like the inner pots uh, interchangeably so everything else is kind of the same handles are slightly different you have these slots in here and I do understand like this is supposed to fit in here which is great because again like you see my old IP doesn't have that so uh, now that this is standing let's go check out these functions I want to make sure that I uh, look at and show you all of these different functions available in here so as you can see you can see a little bit of reflection um, you have different functions and again looking side by side you can see the, this panel is much shorter this is much taller and you can you have a rice multigrain porridge uh, steam and then the other ones are sterilized yogurt and pressure cook so the sterilized is a new one i believe yogurt is available in the seven in one and then in here what you have is soup meat bean chili cake egg which are the other two new ones and then slow cook and saute as you can see here pressure cook pressure level which is what you do not have in the lux keep warm your edges settings your delay start and your cancel or warm so 
that's all let me plug this in so as you can see this is what the uh, screen looks like it's much different than your kind of red uh, uh, buttons on on the other one with these just light up so it is much different so I'm not gonna turn on anything but I'm just gonna try and show you how what it looks like just turn on different settings and show it to you and then you can do adjust um, as well as adjust the pressure so if I were to do some setting and then again I'm gonna check this but that is kind of so I'm gonna make some things in it and then as I try out different recipes especially all the new settings in here for egg cake um, as well as yogurt I'll let you know how that goes but really excited to use this if you're looking at buying um, this was a good deal I got it at $99 on Amazon um, and I feel like that is great because the older one is probably gonna go for cheaper and if you don't really need the extra settings maybe you don't want it but I know the yogurt function is especially useful so uh, here's to more instant pot cooking and I will see you next time.